Breaking news, Nigerians. It is no longer news that Erufai and Sheyusani have always been political rivals. The two have always been at loggerheads with each other. To the extent Sheyusani had to mock Erufai for not, you know, getting an appointment from uh, Tinibu's government, where he had to tell Tinibu that uh, he was so lucky that he dodged a poisonous knife, referring to uh, Erufai as a, as a poisonous knife, making it known that, uh, you know, Tinibu was so lucky to have not given Erufai any appointment in his government. So, my country people, <laughs> may you know as the matter they be. Mr. Erufai and uh, Sheyusani have always been at loggerheads with each other uh, to the extent Sheyusani had alleged that uh, the governor had left behind huge debt in Kaduna. You know, Erufai is the you know former governor of Kaduna State. Meanwhile, uh, Sheyusani had alleged that uh, Erufai left behind huge debt. You know, he should come out and... Uh, uh, free himself by declaring his access to the public. Meanwhile, Erufai, you know, in a recent uh, development, have lost to Sheyusani in court. Yes, my country people, Erufai loses to Sheyusani in court. The immediate past governor of Kaduna State, Nasa Erufai, on Thursday lo uh, lost a court case against his political rival and the former law lawmaker Sheyu Sani, it was gathered that a Kaduna High Court dismissed a defamation suit filed by Erufai against Sani. And in the suit filed in 2018, the former governor had sorted had sought a two billion in damages over the comments credited to the former lawmaker when he said they are totally false and you know injurious injurious to his person in the eyes of the public and erufai alleged that sunny deframed him by referring to him as a drunk loose canon and an embarrassment to president mohammed buhari however justice Hal balogun in his in his ruling on thursday dismissed the the suit by erufai describing it as an abuse of the court's process guys this is really serious you know justice hal balogo in his ruling on thursday had dismissed uh, dismissed the suit by erufai describing it as an abuse of the court process i mean why would erufai come to the court over this kind of issue and you see erufai have lost this case to his political rival sheyu sani and then the court had to dismiss the suit they said this is an abuse of the court process this is after uh, sani's lawyer kemi livingstone drew the attention of the court to the fact that the former governor had filed the same case in four different courts in kaduna and dismissed the case so speaking to newsmen after the court case, Alpha said that uh, the ruling is a victory to democracy and a freedom to expression. So the former governor, uh, Erufai, cannot go around dragging uh, Sheyu Sani in all different courts in Kaduna, all for what? An accusation of a def uh, defamation of name? No, he shouldn't abuse the court. So you see, my country people, this is quite serious. Sheyu Sani and Erufai have always been fighting each other. They have always been fighting each other right from time. They haven't, you know, they don't have a very good relationship. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? However, Nigerians have reacted to this. Erufai is a religious bigot. Seriously, we should all be thinking of how to team Erufai before he does more damages to Nigeria. How can one at this level be so reckless and lawless? Sure you should understand that this judgment is not to his own interest because whatever Malam Erufai labor him today in Kaduna, in Kaduna will stick forever. You simply can never match Erufai's personality. Well, now he is no longer a governor. Absolutely. It is a win for democracy and a shame to Erufai. Erufai will keep on losing until he becomes nobody 
in the eyes of everybody, his arrogance and pride must be tint. Erufa is, is, uh, is gradually fading away. Let's watch and see. I don't know what Tinibu is waiting before ordering the DSS to pick up Erufai. The judge have developed the balls to dismiss the case because the bigot is no longer in power. It is very unlawful to file the same case in four different courts because it is double jeopardy. The courts would have awarded 10 billion naira against Erufai for abuse, but the senator used the right uh, synonyms to describe the former governor, no doubt. Well, he lost the case because he's no longer the governor. Had it been he was still the governor, the courts would have ruled in his favor. But we know that Sherry Sani was so irrational. How many persons has he sponsored, making noise always? Hmm, Erufai. This is just the beginning of the disgrace coming for you. The blood of the innocent lives you destroyed will cry against you. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, this is really serious. You see, Sheyusani had, you know, mocked Erofai after he made a very disturbing statement that Nigerians had reacted to when he talked about Islamic dominance in Nigeria, when he talked about Islamic dominance in Kaduna, and how, you know, it would be fair that the Muslims get to rule over and over and over again in this country, making it known that the imaginance of uh, President Tinibu as the president of this country has shot the Christian Association of Nigeria. They've all kept quiet. They are no longer talking. You know, they don't have the guts to talk anymore. And Chesani made it known that it would continue this way. As in, he really made it known. And I can tell you, Nigerians did not find that statement funny at all. So that is why Chesani had, you know, told uh, Tinibu that. See, you've dodged a very poisonous knife because Erufai is like a poisonous knife. You won't, you know, want to get him into your cabinet. He's going to cause more harm than good. Erufai is going to destroy, you know, the government that Tinibu is trying to, to build. That is why Eruf, uh, Sheyu Sani had said, you know, that it would be very dangerous for Erufai to be in the you know, Tinibu's government. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? I'm dropping here guys. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye for now.